All right, let's talk to Humpty Dumpty here. Goodness gracious, sir. Where is your neck? Oh, hello there. Say, Sonny, you haven't seen a big coin around here, have you? I could have sworn that I dropped a lovely one somewhere nearby. See, I always seem to be losing things nowadays, and replacing them gets mighty expensive. I've become quite a penny pincher. Don't suppose you'd mind advising me on a tiny money matter, would you? Oh boy, a tiny money matter, he says. Oh, it's very easy. Spare change. Let's see. A rope and coins are arranged as shown below. As you pull the ends of the rope out to the left and right, the rope will draw taut and push the coins to either side. Assuming you only get to keep the coins that end up on the top half of the rope, how many coins will you have? Oh boy, it's one of these. Yeah, you know, the funny thing is, uh, Rachel, yeah, I love the art. Like, and the characters themselves, like, look pretty crazy. Um... But, you know, they're still people. They're just very varied, which I guess makes sense because people are all different. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying it. And like all of them have like like this one has less I've noticed, but there's like voiced over sections. And c considering this came out on the DS, the voices still aren't bad, you know. Um, and the second one, there were a few more like cutscenes and things, and especially towards the end. I was like, this is very good. So I can't wait to get into like the later games where I know that stuff got like better and better but but this these the latent games much like the phoenix uh right games oh well, i should call them ace attorney but let's be real it's all about phoenix right even if apollo and athena and everybody else are there whatever his pointy hair saves the day um like it was a game series that i didn't get into until way later because i just you know i i thought about it but i just never you know, ended up buying them or for whatever reason, or they became kind of rare. So isn't there one coming to switch? Um, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a new set. Um, unless you're talking about, are you talking about this? Or are you talking about Ace Attorney? I know that the great Ace Attorney, um, collection is coming to switch this month, actually, uh, which people are really excited about. I wanted to switch the part of Yeah. And also, the, well, there's also a Professor Layton game on there. It's also on mobile and Steam, I think. I was looking it up before. Okay, let's see. Uh, not, not this one, but um, the seventh game in the series, I believe. There's, there's actually quite a few Professor Layton games, so. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I figured that, Lambda. Okay, I should probably solve this puzzle before... Okay. Uh, can I... Okay, I can mark things. Oh, okay, so there's no memo function, but it kind of lets you do memo stuff. Okay, so all of this is where the rope is touching. Are we going to get any coins out of this? Signs point... Oh, yes. Okay, well... That's one coin. gonna kind of draw branch this off because I can't do this like in my head that's two coins maybe I should circle them Three. oh my god so this is an easy puzzle it just involves a lot of leg work okay I'm only gonna go on sections where I know there's a coin <gasps> did I Oh, okay. I was like, did I just run out of pen? Oh, God. Um, that... Oh, okay. That goes all the way around here. Okay, there's a turn. Yeah, I know. Well, it's because it happens, um... Wait for the... Oh, okay. For some reason, the, uh... It doesn't touch that far. We have one... Two, three, four, five, six so far. Oh. Seven. Eight. I believe that's... Oh, wait. Nine. I think that's all. Because <laughs> all the rest of this is in uh, negative space. 
I think it's not. <laughs> well, it took it. There we go. Boom! Got it. Critical thinking is the key to success. Yeah, I guess, except I could not do that in my head. That's right, you'll gather up nine coins when the rope is pulled taut. It's really quite a simple puzzle, but following every coin's path does take quite a bit of time. Yeah, that's... Thanks, puzzle. That's... That's what happened. My, what a sharp fellow you are! Now do an old man a favor and help me search for that coin, eh? You found a strange gizmo. Um, okay, let me look for a coin. Did you drop it here? Is it in the window? Oh wait, hint coin. Hmm. It's terribly quiet here. I'd even say it's eerily quiet. Okay, well, cool, Layton, but have you seen any matchsticks? It's favorite. Doesn't look, okay, none of these doors look like they're going to open anytime soon, apparently. Oh, wait. Aha! Hint coin! Oh, I can't remember if I found any... Oh! Yeah. Uh... That's probably good for now. Sorry I couldn't find your coin, sir. Hello! This man has a giant nose. Not a soul seems to live here. Well, this seems like a great place. Everything's goopy. This must be the slacker that the girl was talking about. Oh, well... Are you sleeping? How are you sleeping while standing up with that giant head? Oh, never mind. You're not sleeping. Is that hair or is his head caved in? I have so many questions about this man. Let me tell you, lately, St. Mysterio has become a dangerous place. Case in point, I haven't seen Raymond since yesterday. Is that rascal missing or something? Yeah, what a it's, it's like at least 40% of his face. I don't know what people are disappearing, but recently they just vanish. Poof! Can't walk the streets alone. Really? Flathead? Yeah, I'm just like... Could you please elaborate a bit more on what you know of these mysterious disappearances? Nope! Can't say I know particulars on the subject. Seems to me the only folks vanishing were the ones complaining of feeling sick or tired. Alright, have a good one, Akago. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. Ah, shucks, I, I don't really, uh, remember much about it. You probably have better luck talking with Zapone about stuff like this. I hear he's the, in the know about pretty much anything, everything, stuff. Hm. Zapone, you say? Where might we find this person? Who was it? You mean you didn't bump into him on the way here? He's a slouchy guy with a fancy little mustache. You'll know him when you see him. Wow, it sure is hard to catch a lead on this case. The day is far from over, Luke. Let's see what else we can find out by asking around. Oh yeah, we should probably take a look at our mysteries. In the second game, it automatically brings you to the mystery page, but here you actually have to look. How many do we have? Oh, the same amount as the second game. I think there were also 10. The late Baron Reinhold hid this item in St. Mystere just before dying and has promised the whole of his fortune to the one who finds it. No one has any clue what the golden apple might be or where it is hidden. Noise. While, professor, while the professor was meeting with Lady Dahlia, Reinhold Manor was rocked by a noise so loud it shook the walls of the mansion and scared off Claudia. What could the source of that noise be? Someone has stolen the crank that controls St. Mystere's drawbridge, the sole portal in and out of town. Until the crank is recovered, there is no way to leave the town. Why would somebody want to steal a drawbridge crank? I don't know. Maybe they want you there. A small cog with an intricately carved insignia was recovered from the scene of Simon's murder. Perhaps the murderer dropped it when fleeing the scene. Baron Reinhold's late wife, Violet, is pictured cradling a baby in a photograph on Lady Dahlia's desk. While the two women seem to be complete strangers to each other, their resemblance to each other is too uncanny to be chance. What's really going on here? You gonna go settle down for bed? Oh, it's almost 4 a.m. I forget that you're across the you're across the pond. All right, no, you have 
a good night, Rachel. Thank you so much for the raid. I'm glad that you had a good stream, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening as well. Definitely. Yeah, no, I I would highly recommend it. Like, it's a lot of fun, you know? And and just like the learning more about the stories and stuff like that is just it's really great. Like I wasn't sure how much I'd be into it, and I was like, I love the second game, so I'm gonna go through all of these now. Village disappearances. Rumor has it a number of villagers have disappeared recently. Oddly enough, those who disappear, or are abducted as some suggest, often do so after complaining of general fatigue or other minor health issues. Hmm, that does sound weird. Oh yeah, let's put more of the gizmos together. Those are definitely his eyeballs. That's creepy. Okay, that looks a lot better with a face. Oh, that's a nose. Okay, he needs ears, um, tongue, foot, leg, leg, butt. Yeah, marathon. Have a good one, Rachel. All right. Um, let's go meet Zapone. Is are you Zapone? No, you're Gerard. No, oh, let me bug you for a minute there, Sonny. I should have known. I just knew his name, but maybe he was had an alias. I'm all turned around on this one issue, and I need someone with a level head to help me out. See, it all started a while back when I was on vacation and bought this camera case. I think that sneaky sales clerk swindled me out of a few dollars. Oh, boy. The camera and case. Whoa, this is a 50 picker at one. While walking through a market on vacation, you notice a small stand selling cameras. A camera and case set is selling for $310. The seller tells you that the camera costs $300 more than the case itself, and that the case costs the price of the set minus the cost of the camera. You decide you'd rather wait on buying the camera and opt to just buy the case alone. You hand the seller a $100 bill and see, how, see his eyes light up. Think fast now. How much change should you be getting back? Mm. Why would you buy just the case? Why would you buy a case and not a camera if you don't even have a camera? Okay. So the camera and case set is selling for 300. The seller tells you that the camera costs $300 more than the case itself. And that the case costs the price of the set minus the cost of the camera. So it's, you should be getting $90 back if you just Cost the price of the set minus the cost of the wait. There's just so much information. I feel like it should be getting ninety dollars back if I handed him a hundred dollar bill. The case is only ten dollars. But also, like selling the set actually seems terrible because um yeah. Because if the case is only $10, then buying the set is terrible. Because you're still spending the exact same amount of money. Oh my gosh. I am... Let's see. It's the 300 more than the case itself. And then the case costs the price of the set minus the cost of the camera. Oh no. You don't think it's set? You think it's five? Because the case is five and the camera is 305. Oh, oh. The camera's $300. Yeah. Well, then I'd be getting $95 back, right? If the case is five? Unless the case is... Okay. I'll try that, because I'm like... I keep thinking it's 10. Let's see. 
It's just, I hate I stuff like that because it's like so... Okay, yeah, you were right. Critical thinking is the key to success. Okay, good thinking. The merchant in an awfully misleading way. Yeah, he did because I didn't understand this shit either. Make sure you don't get duped by some swindler next time you go out shopping. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was just like, what? The nerve of that sneak! And I thought I was getting the deal of a century! Sure makes a fellow sad to think that people can be so dishonest. Okay. Yeah, I was like... I thought it was gonna be ten, but yeah, five... I guess ten is like... Just like the easy looking answer, but... Oh, it's you! I just never talked to you. Or did I talk to you? Was this? Yes, it's just as I suspected. You can tell from here, sir. You have something you want to ask me, no? Don't even try to hide it, sir. It's in your eyes. And ask you may after you solve this puzzle for me. Okay, Zapone. Island hopping. Here's an overhead view of a cluster of tropical islands. As you travel from start to goal, your objective is to visit every island exactly one time. The island folks say this can be accomplished with the addition of a single straight bridge. The only other rule is that your bridge can't cross over any pre-existing bridge. So, where should your bridge go? Yeah, tell us the answer first, exactly. Okay. Uh... You can't draw any- what do you mean I can't draw any more lines? Oh, it's the bridge. I have to. Oh, I thought it was gonna let me like draw. Okay. Oh. 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 oh wait. 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 Boop. There we go. I'm a puzzle genius! Puzzle has an answer. That's right. Now get out there and go enjoy that island paradise. Yeah, because it's like... Oh, well, okay. It's showing multiple solutions. Either way, you need that bridge there to be able to do the thing. Ha ha! I'm so smart. Just as I suspected, a fellow detective. Your skills at puzzle solving are formidable, sir. Dare I say they approach my own? It's the eyes, I say. They never lie, and when they do, I know. Looking into the mysterious dif disappearances around the village, are you? But let me give you my take on the situation. Well, um, hmm. Is uh, something the matter? Ah, yes, now I remember. If the room, if it's rumors you're after, take a tip from a fellow detective and go ask Crouton. He owns the restaurant in town. He's, oh, the tongue. I found the tongue. Gotta go talk to Crouton, but not before I go over here and... Wait, are you Crouton? No, you're just a cellar person. Crouton, I guess, is... That's Archibald. He also has far too much neck. Chin. Things. Lend me an ear, would you? I'd like your expert opinion on this puzzle. It won't take but a minute. Well, that depends on how good I am at it, sir. How old is dad? Oh man, why do we gotta do more age things? Father and son are chatting when the son poses a question. Dad, I'm 22 now, but just how old are you? Wow, you're 22 and you don't know how old your dad is. What the hell? <laughs> Wow. Father replies, you want to know how old your old man is, eh? Hmm, well, I tell you what. I'm as old as your age, plus half of my age. How old is the father? Um... What? We don't know how old you are, you dumb bastard. <laughs> Sir, he's at least older than 22. Okay. Plus half of your age. Let, let's say he's 40. Then that means you'd have to add 22 plus 
Wait, I bet maybe only specific numbers could work. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's more math, Mafina. It's more math. Like, Dad, just tell me how old you are. This is why I don't know. Everything's a puzzle to you. Everything's just a game, Dad. Why did you give me a puzzle instead of telling me where you went when you got cigarettes 20 years ago? Favorite video game experience? Exactly. Your age plus half of my age. Well, if he was 40, then half of his age would be 20. Which wouldn't work, because then that would make him 42. So 39. You can't do that. It's got to be an even number. 38. Half of 38 is 19. 19 plus 22 is 41. That doesn't work either. We got to keep going down. Um, he's clearly 18. Uh, 34. Half of 34 is 17. That's wrong. 36? Half of 36 is 18. Nope, that would be 40. <sighs> okay. 32. Half of 32 is 16. Nope. That would be 38. 34? No, because I was like 34. Half of 34 is 17, which would make that 39. What the... Man, I don't like this. Yeah, 42. Half of 42 is 21. 3. 44. Just... So he just has to be 44. Are you... F just say he's twice your age! Stupid dad fucking doesn't know and fucking just tell a straight answer. Just tell me you're 44, dad. This is why we can't talk. That's right. Half the father's age plus the son's age should give you the answer, which means that half the father's age must be. Oh, because we use math. Fucking arithmetic. Mm hmm. I guess I was on the right track all along. Thanks for your help, boys. Sorry for taking so much of your time. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Good day. Thanks. How old is dad? I, I don't even care anymore. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you again. No. Oh, hello again. How are you today? Oh, okay. I thought, yeah, that... The exclamation mark showing up every time you interact with him definitely throws it off. This market is packed with stuff to buy. I would hope so. Okay, where would I find... When I'm 400 years old, be like, um... Sure thing, Dad. I think it's time for you to go to a home. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Two out of three ain't bad. Let's, let's investigate later. Oh, wait, what's to the right? Oh, oh, this just leads... Okay, well, I guess I should have known. Let's head back to the restaurant. Oh, you're looking for the restaurant now? It's not far. Just head a little to the west of here. Before you run off again, I got a tip for you. You want to experience all that Saint Mystere has to offer. You can't just run from point A to point B. Take some time and explore the city from corner to corner. You'll be glad you did. Uh, much appreciated. We'll be sure to give that a try. Come, Luke, we have work to do, and this man is creeping me out. Okay. Oh, wait. I think we can actually do... I think I might have missed at least, like, one puzzle. Hmm. There seems to be a puzzle embedded in this door. Could have sworn it was, there was nothing there a minute ago. Fascinating. This puzzle appears to be acting as some sort of lock for this door. How delightful! Luke, my boy, why don't you give this puzzle a try? Uh, I'm almost certain the door will open if you solve it. Okay. Get the ball out! One! Okay. I don't know if this is something I would yell at a child, but... 30 Picarats. Oh no, it's one of these! Oh no! 
Oh, I, these are some of the ones that I had to, like, look up, because I was just like, I would go in circles. Well, actually, I should be able to do this, because I did the one that was like an elevator puzzle. Can you get the red ball out of the maze? Slide the obstructing blocks out of the way to clear a path for the ball. This problem can be solved in as few as 12 moves. Yeah, I know how to slide blocks. Thanks. I don't know how you do it in 12 moves, but I did it. Correct! Your ball is in the hole! Yes. Yay! I have uh, over a thousand Pickerats! Well done! With all those blocks in the way, getting your ball to the goal was harder than you expected, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just a normal night at the bar. <laughs> Very nice! The door should open right up now! Yay! I got the ball out! And now we're gonna run into, yep, Granny Riddleton. Why, howdy! Do you often find yourselves hopelessly, achingly, painfully stuck on puzzles? Well then, Sonny, you've come to the right place! Welcome to Granny Riddleton's Puzzle Shack. Granny Riddleton? Yeah, I am a master of getting balls into holes. I've played Breath of the Wild. Where can we find this lady? Isn't it obvious? She's right in front of you, boy. Psst, no wonder you have trouble solving puzzles. Wow, I've solved every puzzle I've come across. Say that to me again, Granny Rilton. Yes, you are gazing at the beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Riddleton guide to the puzzled puzzlers. Um, beautiful and clairvoyant. Professor, do you know what she's going on about? Fret not, Luke. Why don't you let me do the talking here? Sorry to disturb you, Ms. Riddleton, but by clairvoyant, do you mean to say that you have psychic powers? Can you do things like, say, pick a criminal out of a crowd or visualize the location of lost objects? Psha! Any fortune teller can do that! So what if... What if you can see a few days into the future? So what if you can? Big whoop! My specialty, you see, is puzzles! Puzzles people forget about. Puzzles people miss. Surely you boys had a few of those, eh? No need to turn red. It happens to the best of puzzlers. What I do, you see, is I take those poor lost little puzzles and invite them to come stay with me. Wow, so those puzzles that we tried but weren't able to solve, those puzzles are here now? <laughs> it looks like you finally figured out what makes me so amazing, boy. Now go ahead and give a knock on the door behind that little shack behind me. Inside, you'll find rows of cute little jars, each one of them stuffed with a forgotten puzzle. I bet you can find those lost puzzles of yours somewhere in the midst of all my little pretties. Okay, first I want your coins. Yeah, that that's literally like the exact same speech, pretty much, that she gives in the second game, so. wonder if it's just like the same third. Seven, oh. Puzzle 17, I thought it meant there were 17 puzzles. Five card shuffle. Okay. What is this? 30 picarets. Three of the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can you find the odd one out? Okay, so that one's flipped upside down. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Those three are on top, those three are on top. Those three are not on top. Bonk! It's D! How does this sound? Bonk! Yay! Visual puzzles go! I like those ones! Good job! This puzzle is fairly straightforward, but catching the subtle difference in the picture can take a while. 
Yeah, because it's, yeah, the... I did it! You found a painting scrap. Yay! There are no more puzzles in her shack. Thanks, Granny Riddleton! The West! Ah, what the heck was that sound? Ah, oh, I've just had it! Would someone please stop that awful racket? Uh, what's the matter, sir? Ah, who are you calling, sir? I'm a young man! Ah, but never mind that, I'm furious! That sound, that horrible noise, I can't get a wink of sleep at night! Used to be the tower only made noise every once in a while, but recently it's been roaring non-stop! How am I supposed to sleep? You hear me, you big jerk of a tower! How am I supposed to sleep? Please calm yourself, sir. Do you have any idea what the source of that deafening din is? I have heard of it. I don't think I played it, though. Because it's another, um, like, first-person, um, exploration puzzly type game, right? Overly convoluted puzzle game that makes you want to scream, oh no! Oh no. You know, now that you mention it, I haven't the slightest- You know, now that you mention it, I don't have the slightest clue about that. I heard it's the roar of a huge monster that lives up in the tower, but who knows? Hmm, so the noise is coming from the tower, is it? Cheated for some of the puzzles. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's like mist, but on steroids. Oh, no! That sounds terrible, because mist itself is already like, whew. Tee hee hee. That guy gets so worked up, he turns around. Oh. <coughs> She's, making... <coughs> She's still just making fun of him. Sorry, everyone. Oh, I need to go to the restaurant. Why am I here? Into there. Cause you're a crouton, right? Uh, Raymond, uh, he hasn't been around today. You've only seen one person finish it. Oh, I don't like that. I would probably get very angry. <laughs> like I've gotten kind of stuck on some of these puzzles, but I can at least usually kind of force my way through, or I have people to, to tip things in the right direction. <sighs> Looks like we've hit another dead end. Too bad you couldn't find him. He usually skips out of work and comes here to gossip and have coffee. And you know, speaking of gossip, I've heard some weird rumors from my customers lately. Recently, there's been talk of some strange old man running around St. Mystere kidnapping people. A kidnapper? Who is this old man? I heard all this secondhand, so you got me there. You need to find a better source for the village gossip. You might want to try your luck at the cafe. Usually you hear rumors straight from the source there. It's almost sunset now, so the cafe should be open for dinner. A mysterious old man kidnapping village folk. Now that's a rumor. There's many endings? Holy crap. Oh. We gotta find... Oh, chapter solved. Is it? The chapter wasn't solved, though. He's still... We don't know where he's at. Holy moly, how did I miss this many puzzles? Milk pitchers of dust and dustpan, race track riddle, pills prescription, three umbrellas and stamp stumper. Well, I guess we're gonna go there. Professor, it's getting dark out. I'm afraid that's my cue to start closing up shop. Come by tomorrow if you get hungry. Are oh, you made Korean food? Ooh. Oh, cutscene. Oh, that sounds really good. I could go for some Korean food. I know one of my friends, I think I saw... Yeah, okay, did you make bulgogi? Is that what that is? One of my other friends just made bulgogi the other night. And I'm like, man, I really want bulgogi. Like, holy crap. Just really want it. Yeah, because it's so good. So good. Luke, let's take a moment to sum up our findings. We have a strange roaring tower, disappearing villagers, and an odd elderly kidnapper. It's all so bizarre. I can't make sense of it at all, Professor. Scallion pancake. I was about to say. I was like, the other things on the side look kind of like chips or pancakes of some sort. Nice. I think we finally got some clues on our hands, my boy. Observing the nightlife in this village might tell us more of what we need to know. 
Great idea, Professor. For some reason. Oh, well, I mean, it still looks really good, though. It's turned dark and Raymond still hasn't returned. Continue the investigation to find clues. Save. You're too tired. Yeah, understandable. Saving. Almost four hours. It took me about 17 hours to beat the second game. So I'm guessing this one isn't super long either, but I might make it through faster just because some of the puzzles I'm not puzzling as hard about. Oh. Yeah, well, maybe one day we'll have a bed. Maybe there's a bed in one of these many, many bottles. Ruin. Much better. Pill prescription. A man has been pres prescribed 10 pills. Starting today, he must take one pill a day. But because the concentration of the medicine is different in each pill, he must take them in a specific order. Since the pills all look the same, the man has decided to write numbers on each pill to help him remember the order he needs to take them in. How many pills does he have to number if he wants to keep track of the order? What the f- Who the hell makes medicine and puts different amounts of medicine in every pill, but they all look the same? Ah, uh, pills all look the same. The man has decided to write numbers. Okay. If he already took one pill, he's got a... He's obviously got a number nine of them. There we go. What? Frankly, I'm ashamed. What condition will allow you to get away with... Because he took a pill that day! What the... F what? Okay, now I hate, I hate that. Yeah, nine, well, cause... Cause he took one, he, starting today, he must take one pill a day. Unless I just had, unless he just has to make 10. Yeah, he wants to. <laughs> Bare minimum of numbers he needs to write is fewer than 10. Think about how he can accomplish this because he takes. Yeah, it has to be less than 10. When you have two visually identical items, you only need to mark one of them. Therefore, you don't need to mark each pill to tell them apart. Would it be eight? Is that what? So it isn't. You mind the man must start taking his pills today. In fact, he's going to start by taking the pill right in front of him. If that's the case, does he really need to mark which pill he's gonna? I yeah, that's why I said nine. You don't need to mark each. But they're all. Oh, it's gonna be eight because he doesn't. The one without. The Fucking just do it eight, please. The bit. There we go. So he doesn't mark the one that he took today or the one he's gonna take tomorrow. Fuck, I hate you, game, sometimes. Good job. That is a huge pill! Since the man has to start taking his medicine today, the first thing he should do is take today's pill. Next, he should label the pills for days two through nine. If he does this, he shouldn't have to label the pill for the last day. It'll be the only one without a label. Oh. Okay, he's only got a label. I've got a leg. Thanks. Next, please. Stamp stumper. I'm already stumped. Thanks. Rapid fire puzzle time. No! 50! That's so... Oh, no! Your friend just got back from the post office where she purchased a sheet of stamps with values from 10 cents to $1. First, your friend cuts out the $1 stamp and sets it aside. Who did... They don't sell stamps like that. Then she divided the rest of the stamps into seven uniquely shaped bunches, each with a total value of $1. 
Can you divide the sheet of stamps the same way your friend did? Oh boy. Okay. Oh, there's gotta be... Oh, they have to... They just have to make a dot, but they have to be uniquely shaped. Oh boy. Okay, that's a square. That's a dollar. That's also a dollar. Uh... 30... 50... That's 80. Ah! <sighs> Oops! 40... 50... Oh no! 80... 90... Oh no! Oh no... Well, this is... Not that. Um... Okay, there. So that's 60, 70, okay. So then that. 30. I think I did it. No, wait, yeah, I think I did it. Um. That way, that's two, it's... Wait, they said uniquely shaped. I mean, maybe if they're not turned. Submit, though, let's see. Luke, here's my answer. Fuck you! Uh, I suppose I thought wrong. Don't give up. It's not enough to just divide the stamps into $1 groups. Each of the seven groups must be a different shape. The diagram here shows how the stamps divide into $1 segments. However, the green sections are the same. Okay, and I totally did the very first fucking one. Ah, I gotta hate this. Oh, this takes so much time. Oh, God. Well, it is a hard one. <laughs> okay, so... What if I did this? Those are the same shape too. Fucking, I hate this. Okay, so that's gonna be that. <laughs> she said seven. One, two, three. Okay, I can't have any other shapes that look the same. Um. No. Oh, so that one. What the. F Okay, so if I do this, that has to be different. <laughs> Wait, what if I did this? And then that could still be that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Try that one. There we go. I think this one is all unique. Oh, I got it. Oh, geez, I was like, I have brain. Yay! Well done. There's several ways to divide the stamps into one dollar groups, but this is the only way where all the groups form different shapes. <sighs> all right, Toto, you have a good one. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm probably gonna finish these puzzles and then I'll I'll probably be done for the night. So I can make some food. I've had chicken breasts um uh, marinating like all pretty much all day, and I wanna grill those up and make some fajitas. Suffer a lot. Yeah. It's been fun. I hope that you rest well. Three the distance three race horses can run around a racetrack in one minute is listed below. Horse A, two laps. Horse B, three laps. Horse C, four laps. You're on mine. I figured, I saw, um... I mean, I I saw that y everybody was in the Discord right now. Oh, well, I guess you're not. Oh, wait, never mind. I was like... 
Well, Fo was there. Are you playing with Fo right now? <laughs> I guess there uh, other people are playing something else. I don't know. The horses line up at the starting line and start running in the same direction. How many minutes will pass before all three horses line up at the starting line again? You got a headache? Oh, I gotcha. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope your head gets to feeling better. Okay, so in one minute, two laps, three laps, four laps. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. So, one, and then, wait, if they're just running laps, wouldn't it be one minute? <laughs> wouldn't it literally just be one fucking minute? I'm thinking too hard. They're all going to show up. It doesn't matter how many laps they can run. It's going to be one minute that they hit. Ah! Oh, this game. I'm sorry, RC. I shouldn't be yelling if you have a headache, but <laughs> this fucking this logic puzzles. You got it. In one minute, horse A will have done two laps. Horse B will have done three laps. Horse C will have done four laps. And all the horses will be lined up at the starting line. <sighs> Give me that foot. 43. Three umbrellas. Go! Number 43. It's okay. Just get in video chat and mute it and you we can you can we can just watch you pantomime. I'm okay with that. Three identical looking umbrellas are sitting upright in a stand. You're having chronic migraines and had it. Oh. Yeah, it because I know that that can help a lot of people. And I think RC actually is lactose intolerant, but I don't think that. I don't know. You didn't eat anything weird today, did you, RC? Assuming the owners don't check their umbrellas' labels, what percentage chance is there that only two people will walk off with their own umbrella? You gotta get a work server. No, no, you're fine, Cammy. Thank you so much for stopping by. I mean, it's always good to see you. He's giving you hyper. Oh no, that's bad. Okay. Assuming the owners don't check their umbrella's labels, what percentage chance is there that only two people will walk off with their own umbrella? Isn't it just like 33%? Or maybe there's more. Not enough dairy to cause you any pain. Now you think it's your- Oh, oh no, yeah. I know there's like a sensitivity to like scalp and stuff like that. Um... What do you say, Hint? Don't focus on what's being asked. Keep in mind you aren't being asked the percentage likelihood of grabbing your own umbrella from a group of three. It's uh, Professor Layton. Two people have already successfully grabbed their own umbrellas, then who does the final umbrella belong to? Wait, it's a zero percent chance because ah, this fucking game. Because if they. Because then the last umbrella is the... <sighs> oh, this hurts my brain, guys. But, it's, yeah, it's Professor Layton. Because it's Mystery Monday. And Professor Layton is... I'd call it a mystery game. It's a puzzle game. But there's definitely lots of mystery. That's right. If two people manage to grab their own umbrellas, the third person is left with only one umbrella to take. Her own. It's impossible for only two of the three to pick up their own umbrellas. Yeah, exactly. The blue bed. I guess to Luke. Luke is blue. Luke has a bed! Let's give Luke a bed. Sorry. Sorry, Professor. Still a dump. No good. <laughs> oh boy. We need so much more furniture. Oh, well, let's attach more dog parts. There's the tongue. Front leg. Ear. Final foot. Okay, so we're missing leg, but other ear. Maybe top of head. But yeah. Of dust and dustpan. 
Uh, puzzles are worth 10 picorettes. As you can see, what we've got here is some trash and a dustpan made of matchsticks. Can you move two matchsticks to change the pictures of the dustpan is holding the trash can? Or the trash, not the trash can. Um, Man, now I see why people were making jokes about matchstick puzzles. There's an awful lot of matchstick puzzles in this game. Okay. Oh no, turning it counts as a move. Reset. Ah! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Submit. Luke, here's my answer. Got it! Another puzzle solved. Give me my ten Pickerats. That's correct. Do your part to keep Saint Mystere clean. And the trash can demon sated. Handwoven rug to Layton, please. Okay, so now he has a rug and child has bed. Everybody's happy. Oh no, milk pitchers. Oh no, it's a pitcher puzzle again. On the counter we have a 10 quart pitcher full of milk, an empty seven quart pitcher, and an empty three quart pitcher. The pitchers are unmarked, and your task is to divide the 10 quarts of milk so that both the 10 quart pitcher and the 7 quart pitcher are each holding exactly 5 quarts. Did I? Yeah, I did. Um, wait. No, I. Let down your hair, RC. Well, you probably already did that. Never mind. Also, tell Fo that she's awesome for me. I mean, I already told her that earlier, but tell her it again. <sighs> Damn, yeah, I know the tap, the picture. Ten quarts of the ten, five, seven. I put seven in there, three in there. I just did this earlier. I, I feel like I'm just scooting these back and forth forever. Oh man, so there's three. I mean, we want a five. Gotta get a five. And now we have four, three, three. The normal, the usual. And with that over there, we have a six and then a four. Then I'd have a one, but then that would just be a seven again. That's what I wanted. 
Is that what I wanted? Oh, yeah, 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 this is what I wanted. Da -da 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 I did it! Ten moves! I think I've got it. Yeah. Correct! Professor, I've solved it! I did solve it! Well done! If you keep at it long enough, you'll eventually come across the solution. The shortest possible solution requires nine moves. Oh, and I did it in ten- Are you kidding me? <laughs> I did one wasted move. I mean, I guess that's not terrible, though. Okay! We did all of the extra puzzles. Hell yeah. The secret to picture puzzles? I just assumed it had to do with whatever specific number you needed at the time. Oh, hello? Are you blocking off? Oh, goodness, whatever shall I do? What seems to be the trouble, sir? Let's see here. Strong, young, and you look like you have a good back. Oh, thank heavens you came along. Uh, I beg your pardon? I've searched everywhere. And I just can't find the thing. Oh, I suppose I must have dropped it when I was strolling by the park this afternoon. I would go search for it myself, but it's gotten dark out. It is awfully dark and scary out there. Ah, nothing of the sort. It's just that, well, I'm no spring chicken anymore, and my eyes aren't as sharp as they used to be. So, how about it, Sonny? Will you help an old man out and go search in front of the park for me? What? But we're in the middle of our investigation right now. Now, now, Luke, no need to be rude. After all, the park is but a small ways away. And who knows, we might actually find some new information to aid in our case there. Besides, helping those in need is the duty of any gentleman. Splendid! I'll wait right here for you to come back. I'm counting on you. Um, one more detail, please, sir. What exactly did you drop? Drop? I... Oh, my. Now, what was it? Um, oh, that's right. It was my watch. Actually, my best wristwatch. Bring it back for me, Sonny. Fine... What do you got to say? I'm sorry, young lady. Could you help us? We're looking for someone, you see, and... Sorry, can't help you. And by can't, I mean don't want to. I barely even talked to Raymond, and I'm so not interested in this search. Hee <laughs> But maybe if you help me solve this puzzle, I just might, you know, remember something. Tee <laughs> hee. Oh god, the worst. And just who do you think you are, young lady? Whoa, Leighton! You raising your voice to a woman? That's not very gentleman-y. From high in the sky, a pair of aliens observes humans using a bizarre object. Perplexed, one alien turns to the other and says, How strange! The Earthling is opening a hole in the sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show the other Earthlings where the hole is. I've never seen anything like it. What could these extraterrestrial visitors be talking about? Uh... Talking about like a nine or a G? No. Open, open it. Ooh. Putting a hole in shit. What is? What are they talking? Is this a word? <laughs> Even something as common as paper can look bizarre to someone who's never seen it before. What kind of device puts holes in paper? It must have a needle or sharp point on it. Um. supposed to be different but well yeah i mean it's kind of like the pancake puzzle in the second one where they all follow like the same kind of logic opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking a line it, are they talking about like a compass or something and not like a directional compass but the compass where you draw like circles i'm i don't know if this is a word or not this is a weird one actually uh so I'm gonna... It is compass! Okay, this is just weird because I haven't had to think about that for a while. 
But yeah, I was like, comp the compass is the only thing I can think of. It's just weird putting in a whole freaking word. No, not compl- Man, I haven't had to use a compass in like go. a really long time, guys. This makes me feel old as hell. Critical thinking is the key to success. Okay, there's a compass. Nice work. When you think about it, an alien's description of a compass is pretty much spot on. Interesting how widely the perception of a single object can vary, isn't it? Okay, aliens. Wow, there's... Facebook is like, Wow, there's seven jobs that you may like paying more than $8 an hour. I would... I would love to um, be paid a lot more than $8 an hour, please. <laughs> you know, I've heard that you if you aren't careful walking around St. Mysterio at night, you can run into trouble. Yeah, exactly. And it's weird that you have to put in the whole world in its er, whole world, the whole word and it's not like a choice, you know? But even when this came out in 2007, I, I don't know, like granted I graduated in 2006, but I hadn't had to use a compass or protractor for ever. Like, I feel like everything's just done kind of via visual without... And plus, those things are dangerous because they're very pokey. I bet Raymond wasn't being careful. What exactly do you mean? Hmm. You found a painting scrap. Use that crap. Oh, really? Haven't touched one since? I guess it depends on what, like, you do as well. Like, I guess it's a lot more common when it comes to, like... Uh, architecture and stuff like that because you want like nice lines and things like that but outside of very specific applications it's, it's a little odd okay hello did you find his thing uh, hmm, Gerard lost something again. I think he's getting kind of slow. He's always dropping stuff. So what did he drop this time? Let me guess, it was a wristwatch, hmm? Indeed, he did drop a wristwatch. Did you pick it up around here? Hey, yep. Well, actually, no, because Beatrice was the one to find it. Thing is, it was already late when she found it, so she decided to hold on to it till morning. Go to the inn, and you can probably ask her for it. So there you go. Now that I've got your attention, could you give me a hand and solve this here puzzle? Dark places give me the willies, but I wanted to solve this puzzle so bad I came out here for help. Puzzle's all about the stars, see? Maybe you can make sense of the thing, hmm? Of course, I'd be happy to help you with it. Of course you would, sir. Puzzle number 46, the biggest star. Okay. Oh, is this another optical illusion? Oh, legend has it that people used to stare up at the heavens and find images of animals or important events in the constellations. Looking up at the star-filled sky here, try to connect the five largest objects in space to form the largest five-pointed star possible. Connect stars by drawing a line between them. Make sure that your line doesn't pass through another star along the way. Oh, oh. I gotta form the largest five-pointed star. What? Oh god, this is... I don't like that. Okay, um... Is that considered passing through? That probably is. This is gonna be one lopsided star. Unless I'm literally just supposed to use, like... No, that just... That looks terrible. Is this... Is this what a star looks like? Definitely. It's pants. So, oh, no, 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 I didn't want to quit. I wanted to clear my pants. Shape you're trying to make is a five-pointed star. It's easy enough to form a star by just connecting five points, but you're aiming for, I mean, to make the biggest star possible. Look for the five largest objects in space and connect them together. <laughs> wow, this is the worst looking star I've ever made in my life. 
That's not a st wow, that doesn't even make any sense. Okay, a puzzle- this is... Doesn't pass through another star. What? Okay, I'm glad I have a billion- yeah, this one is really weird. The answer of the puzzle requires you to draw your star upside down. But the- uh, like, I guess... Remember that the planet we live on is also floating in space. What? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. That's- I mean, I know- Oh god, I know they said objects, but... Jesus Christ. Okay. Um... That? What- I still- This is really fucking weird. I mean, that's a really fat star. Like, and... And they cross the lines. Oh, is that what it's looking for? Oh, okay. Well, kind of. I- well, now I just made it this. Cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Like that. Okay. And I just need to get rid of the other- okay. I see it! Yeah, now I see it, but Jesus, it's like brain! Brain don't want! Oh, jeez. Got it! Oh, jeez. An yeah, but jeez. You're right, you needed to connect the four stars to the Earth in order to form a star like the one shown here. Looks like people are still finding inspiration in the stars. I, yeah. Sure. Sure. Maybe that would be easier, like, on the- where you can just, like, flip everything around on the DS. Hey, thanks a bunch! I can finally go home and catch a few winks. Ugh. Oh yeah, now I remember. Beatrice uh, from the inn was the one to find Gerard's watch. You literally just told me that. Don't forget to ask her about it, okay? See you tomorrow. <sighs> Come on. Come on, Luke. Let's go. Stuffed bear. Give it to Luke. He is a child. Where is Professor Layton's bed? Okay, let's go back to the inn and see if Beatrice wants a puzzle for this. There's no way we can show our faces in the manor until we find some sort of clue. We must continue to investigate. I couldn't agree more, Professor! Okay. Um... Oh, there we go. I was like, where the hell is the inn again? Hello there, boys! Turning in for the night already? Uh, not quite. I heard word that you were f you found a wristwatch out by the entrance to the park. You thought this game was kind of- No, same! Like, I wasn't sure if it was just straight-up puzzles, but there's a lot more to it, and it's actually really good. Um, I won't lie, when I played through this- Because I played through the Diabolical Box, which is the second one, it's actually still in my DS. Um, I did look up answers a few times because I was totally stumped, but it was a very good game. And honestly, a lot of the puzzles that I had to look up weren't even puzzles that you needed to advance the story, they were just like, sideline puzzles or extra ones, so I was just like, man. But it makes you think in ways you hadn't thought of before. Which would, yeah, they actually, I think, I know the the most recent entry to the series is actually on um, on the phone. It's also on the Switch. Um, I don't, I think they actually have HD versions of the older games on the phone as well. Like when I was um, inputting this into Twitch, it said something about uh, the Curious Village HD for mobile, and I was like, oh, okay. Plus, most of the time, games on the phone are way cheaper, so. But yeah. yeah not quite. I heard word that you found a wristwatch out by the entrance of the park. Oh, that old thing doesn't belong to you, Professor? Oh, no, it's Gerard's. He dropped it today while wandering 
about town and asked me to help him find it. Why am I not surprised? That man sheds more stuff than a cat sitting by a fireplace. <laughs> All right, then here's that watch. You know, it figures that it belongs to Gerard. I was just thinking to myself, the professor is far too fashionable to wear this old thing. <laughs> Thank you very much. You got a wristwatch. I don't know if they have, because I think there's like seven games in total. Um, they might have all of them on there. They're all on the phone. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, yes. And just out of curiosity, you haven't seen Raymond about lately, have you? Eight dollars. That's not bad at all, honestly. Like the one on Switch is is obviously like thirty or forty dollars, but then on the phone, uh, I think the latest one is like fourteen something, which still isn't bad. Rent, rent. That that skinny man with the big purple lips. Wow, I'm not the only one who noticed his big old lips. No, he hasn't come by today. But you know, for all his fancy clothing, I hear he's actually quite the layabout. He's probably off idling at the ca cafe. Why not go check for him there? I see. If that's the case, I'd like to go to the cafe right away. Do you mind keeping the front door open a little longer? Oh, don't you worry, Professor. Another guest arrived to stay the night, and I'm setting up in his room. Besides, my door is always open for a dashing gentleman such as yourself. Ooh, wait, everybody's so horny. Okay, I got your watch. Let me through. Oh, so you found my watch, did you? <laughs> uh, but of course, a gentleman always helps those in distress. Speaking of which... We're still quite worried about Raymond's whereabouts and should probably return to our search now. Ah, uh, yep. Saint... Saint Mysterio is a strange like that. Despite its size, it can be quite challenging to find people. Yeah, I know, exactly. Sometimes it feels like running in a darn maze. Speaking of mazes, you ever heard of this one, Sonny? You're giving me another puzzle? But we really must be... Oh, another puzzle. Okay, this is the last puzzle for the night. On the run? A mysterious bandit is on the... On the M and trying to escape the police. Her hot on his trail. Hot. His entrance into this part of town is marked with an arrow. This particular bandit follows a peculiar creed and has vowed never to go backward or turn around. Additionally, whenever he meets an intersection, he will always turn left or right. Now, as you can see from the map, the part of the this part of the town has multiple exits, which are labeled A through G. Of all the exits here, which one will the bandit never be able to pass through? Um, because he can totally just go there. Oh, but well, he's got it. I'm going to assume B. Luke, I might have fucked up, but we'll see. Is it B? It was B! I'm so smart! Has an answer. Yeah. That's right. As you can see from the diagram, the bandit must turn every time he approaches an intersection. The ways he can move through the town are set. As a result, no matter how he approaches B, he'll never be able to leave through there. Well, don't go through B. Take your coins. You're a sharp one, Sonny. You know, if you're looking for someone, you should ask around at the inn or cafe. As you know, the inn is right by the entrance to the village. That cafe is right at the fork of the road just north of here. We've already searched the inn, but checking the cafe sounds like a good idea. We'll be sure to stop by. Well, then I'm off to bed. An old man needs his beauty rest. Thanks again for your help. Think nothing of it, sir. Cream rug? I guess to Luke. We did it. Now we can finally go through here. And ahead. That's the cafe. But this is actually where we're going to go ahead and save. Okay. Four hours. I've been playing this for almost five hours. But yeah, these are really good games. I'd, I'd recommend them, especially if you can, you can find them like mobile. They probably work perfectly because almost everything is touch. Like 
Um, you can use like A to advance through the dialogue, but basically every puzzle you like write a solution or you poke something or you do something. So, and you know, you tap the screen to find hint coins and stuff. So, yeah, it's a good game. 